You're skipping class, aren't you? Normally, I'd calmly escort the children to the principal's office. But with horses, it's different. Let's go. Why aren't you wearing shoes? It's also against the school rules. Ah, yes. Take a seat. Sorry, my office is a little messy. I just got downgraded to the storage closet. So, Jack, you want to tell me why you're a horse? That ain't my name, fool. I tell everyone call me J-Zip. You know, J-Zip, you remind me a lot of myself. Mm, really? Yeah, sure. You know, I once too had a gangster persona. You ain't got a gangster persona, fool. Yes, I do, fool. It's Dinar. Read the label. I'm just as cool as you, so don't act like you all better. Now the scissors are pointing at you. Tell me your story. Alright, alright. Well, it starts like this. I started a day like every other day. I woke up and walked to school. When I got to school, I did my morning ritual. Go to the bathroom and check out my muscles. You're not as tough as you think. Who are you? I'm your fair gang brother, fool. Gang brother, like you can answer my wishes or something? What are you feeling for, fool? Well, I've been training for the Gang Olympics, and I'm trying to be as tough as a centaur. Wait, actually, make me a centaur. Then I'll be as gangster as possible. Are you sure that's a good idea? What does it look like I'm spitting lies? Yeah, I'm 100% sure. Well, all right then. <laughs> Then next thing I know, I'm waking up next to a river with a horse head and my shoes missing. This fairy turned me into a reverse centaur. Not what I wanted. I saw the school in the distance and decided my best bet would just be to go there and wait it out in the hallways. Well, there you go. Now you understand why I was sitting in the hallways. I wasn't skipping class. Well, as you can see, J-Zip, you're a horse. So every word you just said to me, I don't believe. So I'm going to go ahead and give you this ticket, and I will see you in detention. <laughs>